So I'm using HitFilm Pro on a dual monitor setup and I first started off with HitFilm Express and after about two months of getting to know the software I decided to pay out for HitFilm Pro. Before using HitFilm Express I was using PowerDirector 15 which was good for what I was doing but HitFilm offers so much more control over ideas. The learning curve coming from a standard editor to HitFilm was getting used to the compositing but I have to say that once you get used to it, it opens up a whole different way of thinking and if you're new to the free version of HitFilm, then stick with it because it's worth it. So let's get into the dual monitor setup that I use. I use a PC for editing and I have two 27 inch monitors and this gives me so much space to edit. The great thing about HitFilm is the floating windows that you can place and resize anywhere on the screen to suit your needs. On monitor 1, I have the editor window almost a full length except for the audio meter, which is at the far right. Then I have the trimmer window at the top left, and viewer layer window at the top right. So looking at monitor 2, you can see how much space I have to work with. Starting with the media window, audio mixer, track, and effects on top. And on the bottom, I have lifetime, processor and history in smaller windows, then scopes, controls and text. These can all be resized to suit your specific needs and then saved as your own preset. So in my workspace settings I have all the panels open except for the 360 viewer and I have a preset saved as Mike's workspace so I can easily go from that to a single monitor for compositing or editing if I need to. I hope this has been of some help if you're thinking of buying a second monitor to use in HitFilm. And if you enjoyed it, then give that like button a tap. Thanks.